Yeah. If you ain't talking about that large money, then that conversation ain't at all for me. Too many niggas satisfied with just call money. A new chain, couple bottles at the ball money. We need that. Two acres for the yard money. Diversified portfolios and bond money. Pull a few strings that guitar money. Try to run up on me? Nah, money. Getting at it from the AM to the PM. Move fat boy, that's the door by your BM. Love they love it when they see him. We still in the hood, but we on top like the alternators in the GM. She feeling this? Welcome to G5F TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Big shout out to all the sponsors of the channel. All the information is in the description box. And follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at Box with G5F TV. Now, I did a video on julian j rock williams not that long ago and i said that i was at the weigh-in for julian j rock williams and jason rosario and i seen rick ross there and i wasn't talking about the rapper rick ross you know huh not him i'm talking about freeway rick ross the street legend y'all don't know him definitely go look him up but i took a picture with him as you can see in the thumbnail and I had a conversation with him about off camera um, about why he was there. And he basically said that he was trying to get into boxing and come to find out. He's actually tapped into a couple of Philly guys. Um, he was on uh, DJ K Slay uh, Shea 45 show with uh, Cool Boy Steph and Cool Boy Steph is fighting the night on the Danny Garcia card and also found out that Freeway Rick Ross is doing some work with Julian J. Rock Williams. Um, you know, he took an L last week, but we hoping that he comes back stronger than ever. And he's also doing work with Austin Trout and Austin Trout. You know, we know him for being at 154. He didn't fought any and everybody, uh, He's 34 right now, and Rick Ross is working with Austin Trout. And if I run into Freeway Rick Ross again, he might have to work with your boy G5 Jeff TV as well, since I am the voice of Philly boxing when it comes down to it. But I'm going to talk to him about that another time. But you can see that Rick Ross is tapping into the Philly market when it comes down to getting into boxing. And there's a couple of young fighters in Philly that, rick ross is working with as well if you want to get more information on rick ross and what he's doing uh my guy ysm uh sports media he did a great interview with him and i'll definitely put the link up in the description box but it's interesting to see rick ross trying to get into boxing uh we have another street legend uh jay prince he's in the boxing business and He's done very well for himself. I think when you have guys like Jay Prince, when you have guys like Rick Ross in your corner, when you walk into those business meetings, when you walk into those rooms with other business people, they know when you walk into the ring, when into the room with somebody like that, you can't throw no BS their way. Like you can't throw no BS contract. You can't throw anything at them, you know, where you're trying to take advantage and you can't put a price tag on that. So I don't know if Freeway Rick Ross is going to be in these fighters careers from a manager standpoint uh, with the goal of being a promoter. I'm not sure exactly where he wants to go with it. Uh, whenever somebody's trying to do something, I always ask them, what's their end goal? Like, what's your ideal ending to this situation? And there's not really a clear answer to that when it comes down to rick ross and boxing now we know with boxing it's a really um it's like a secret society in terms of getting in from the business side we've seen several people try to get in and they haven't had no uh impact at the end of the day uh you look at 50 cent you know he tried and failed uh you look at jay-z and rock nation they came in offering all of the major fighters huge contracts and they didn't take them and jay-z and rock nation basically came in and failed um 
going forward, we're going to see how Rick Ross plays this. And we all know about the whole story about Rick Ross and Floyd Mayweather was supposed to, you know, put him put him on in terms of boxing circles. And it never happened that way. So Rick Ross is not opposed to building something from the ground up. And that's something that he's definitely going to have to do being in a boxing business, because no matter what path he takes, he's going to have to run into the Al Heyman's, the Bob Arum's, the Oscar De La Hoya's, uh, Greg Cohen's and guys like that in order to advance in the sport of boxing. But it's going to be real interesting to see what Freeway Rick Ross does and the progression that he makes over the next couple of years. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.